This is what $200 tickets to a WWE live event look like. So in today's video, I went to WWE Live Knoxville, Tennessee at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum or Auditorium, whatever you want to call it. And it was quite a fun night. I met so many awesome wrestlers, had so many followers, supporters come up to me and say hello. But yeah, enjoy this vlog. Here was the view, row 12, seat one. I had a great view of the wing and the stage. The opening match was LA Knight, yeah, versus Jimmy Uso. They had a really great match, but honestly, anytime LA Knight and Jimmy Uso have had a match, they always put on a bangle. Then, Solo Sokoa tried to interfere, so the ref did end up kicking him out. Solo was a star. I honestly wish they let him use his full potential. LA Knight ended up winning the first matchup. <laughs> Then after the match, he ended up talking about how he should be the one to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, and then the crowd started booing the rock. <laughs> Next, we had a match of two wrestlers I honestly could care less about. Austin Theory versus AJ Styles. But what it was worth, they had a pretty okay matchup. As you can see here, AJ Styles ended up winning with the phenomenal form. Next match we have is Maxine Dupree versus Ivy Nile. I have no idea why I didn't record Ivy's entrance. They did end up getting attacked by their opponents, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Maxi needs to come and teach me how to do the warm because I don't understand how they do it. I can't wait for Ivy to get a huge push because she's so good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Boom. At the end of the match, Shayna Baszler ended up tapping out Maxine Dupuy. Next, we got to go Omos. Look at this big hunk of man. If you haven't seen this guy in person, it's insane. He's massive. Then MVP got on the mic and said he had $10,000 for anyone who thought that they could knock out Omos. Thank you. Then Akira Tazawa decided he could do it. I thought a killer had it in the bag, but as you can see, Hamas is just way too big. Boink. Oh! Thank you. Nope. Oh! Oh! Of course, Elmas won. I have no idea how I didn't record DIY's entrance. But anyway, next was DIY versus Ludwig Heisel and Giovanni Vinci. Honestly, it was such a good match. I'm so excited for DIY to win Tag Team Gold soon. DIY did end up getting the victory. Hey, look, I ended up getting a selfie with Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, kind of. Next, it was Damage Control, Oscar, EO Sky, and Kylie Sane. Vega! Versus Zelina Vega, Shotzi, 
and the EST, the hometown goal, the roughest, the toughest, the quickest, the smallest, the fastest, Bianca Belair. But I'm way better than before. I never needed you at all. When I fall down, I gon' make you fall down. Okay, honestly, how'd you guys like those vocals? Could I win a Milk and Idol? I'm not gonna lie, I thought Oscar had it here. Oh. This entire sequence right here was so cool. Bianca, Shotzi, and Zelina won. Look how excited Bianca was when she came up to me. It's very well you can get pixels with an entire tag team, but does Shotzi and Zelina. Okay, so next match it was Ricochet versus Jinder Mahal, the modern day Mahal Raja. This match was fun. High flying wrestling is my favorite style of wrestling, so I always love watching Ricochet wrestle live. Oh. Oh. One, two, three, Ricochet wins. This is probably my second favorite match of the night. Gable versus Gunther. Gable needs a huge push and like this guy's incredible. The athleticism put on by both of these men is incredible. Oh. This match could have been the main event and I would have went home happy. Just watch this, the ankle lock into a wall up by Gunther was just so clean. Gunther winning just made sense. Now it's officially main event time. The crowd singing Shinsuke's theme always amazes me. That woe was definitely an impulse. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is also a street fight. Kendo Stick's my favorite thing wrestlers use in matches. Oh. Cody is one of the most oval wrestlers I've ever seen.
I am a suckle for a good table spot. Okay, that was the show. Hope you guys enjoyed this different style of editing. Come to find wedding vlogs to be pretty boring. And I thought like adding a voiceover element would make it a little bit more fun and enjoyable to watch. But yeah, last night's show was probably one of, if not the best house shows I've ever been to. Crowd wise, everything, the matches, super solid. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.